Okay, everybody, here's lesson 26 for you. will be a shortish one today because we're doing another major scale. We're doing the um, E major scale, unlike the A major scale. Um, actually, what's the difference between the two? Think about it for a minute. Uh, you might know this, you might not, but the difference between the two is that A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And the key of E major has four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and uh, D sharp, F sharp, F, C, G, and D. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have um, just the scale itself. As you know, a scale is from one note to the next with notes in between, obviously. But for the major scale um, to retain that formula, uh, which we talked about long, long ago, you need to have certain sharps and certain flats because there's an uneven amount of distance between the keyboard. There's not a black key between every white key, um, so the distances are shifted off a little bit. So <clears throat> you got E with one, F sharp with two, G sharp with three, and as soon as you hit this G sharp with three, you're gonna tuck your thumb underneath to A with one, B with two, C sharp with three, D sharp with four, E with five, you hit E with five again, then D sharp with four, C sharp with three, B with two, you're gonna hit A with one, then you're gonna shift to hit G sharp with three, F sharp with two, and E with one. And once you can play it uh, fluidly beginning to end, it should sound like this. Remember to start out slower if you need to, as slow as you need to go. Alright, time for the left hand. The left hand, 5 on E, F sharp with 4, G sharp with 3, A with 2, B with 1, C sharp with 3, D sharp with 2, E with 1, E with 1 again, D sharp with 2, C sharp with 3, then you're going to tuck your thumb underneath to hit B with 1, A with 2, G sharp with 3, F sharp with 4, and E with 5. So once you can play them smoothly, it should sound like this. Remember to start out as slow as you need and go note by note. Of course, when you first learn scales, uh, they will not be easy. Now the next part is especially not easy. Um, even when you learn both hands separately, uh, that some people run into this issue. Actually, most people do. So you put hands together and remember to just go note by note. So you play the first note. And you say, okay, it says E with 1 with the right hand, uh, E with 5 left hand. You're going to say, okay, that's right, move on to the next note. And then check to make sure on the paper, okay, F sharp with 2, F sharp with 4, yep, that's right. And then G sharp with 3. Um, and then you want to go, okay, I need A with 1, A with 2. So there we go, I got it. So you just go note by note and just double check, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Of course, you won't be able to do it um, as fast as me at first, unless you're already familiar with scales, or you're just really good at scales. Some people are. So once you can play it beginning to end um, very smoothly, it should sound like this. Mess up a little bit there at the end. Let me play it again. There you go, and then once you can speed it up. <laughs> there you go, got it that time. My finger didn't want to, my thumb didn't want to push underneath with my left hand. But I got it, that's why you practice these things. Multiple times until you got it, and then you want to revisit old scales um, if you can um, to kind of brush up on those. Otherwise, over a long period of time, you will forget. Um, so anyway, there was Lesson 26, very simple, um, E major scale. We're going to do some examples in E major pretty soon. I don't know if that's next time, um, but that is soon. So look forward to that. Anyway, thanks for listening as always, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Thank you very much.